So you guys kept hounding me, and hounding me, and hounding me, to tell me, like, go check out the King's Watch, go check out the King's Watch, go see what they changed there. Well, Bungie patched it with this vent. But that's not going to stop me from getting inside. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you guys know how to get into the King's Watch. A lot of you have told me that you've gotten in and informed me that it was patched. But if you don't know, you need to go to the King's Watch, or actually go to the Rocket Yard, and there's a wall right on the other side of here. You basically be breach through. That's the Rocket Yard out there. Well, technically, it would be if it was actually loaded, but out there, there's the Rocket Yard. It's over there. It's over there. Regardless, once you breach through here... Instead of going the normal path where you'd hop up here, make sure you guys load this in by stopping this corner here, but it's already loaded in for me. You'd normally hop up here and you'd head back through this wall. Well, that's still what you do, but you take a slightly different path now. You actually want to get on top of this and then head over this direction. It is kind of buggy and glitchy, just eventually you'll get on top of it. You're heading towards this, like, white and green roof-looking thing, except for I'm having issues doing that right now, so please hold. Can I actually get on the roof? Let me on the roof. Or not. Whatever. Uh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. You want to get on this white and green roof. And head this direction over here. Now there is a series of jumps that you'll have to make. And they are kind of difficult. But you want to head back this way and land on this. You want to scoot into here. And then from right here you'll have to look down to find the farthest point. Which is this corner right here. From here, you're going to jump around the corner and land on a beam. Now, there's a good chance that I'll fail at this, so if you see a cut to where I'm looking this direction, all of a sudden I'm looking back down this direction, or I'm looking this direction, this happens, that means I failed. But what you want to go ahead and do is jump around this corner and land on this beam here. Now, you will get a turn back, but don't worry, you just need to land on this and find the next spot for it. Now, from here, you want to go ahead and kind of jump outwards and land up on this beam here, it's a very, very small bot, but there is no turn back. From here is a very simple jump outwards, and then drop down, and then glide in. Now, you will have about five seconds to get in here, so make sure you do get inside. Now, once you're inside, things are not spawned yet, but there is only one change to this area. Are you curious what that is? Well, Bungie really didn't do much here, at least... To our knowledge, we can't see anything, but if you run back this way and trigger the fight, which is kind of strange that you have to run back this way and trigger the fight, and then come back in to get them to load, you'll notice that they're no longer level 20, but instead they're now level 26. That is the only change to the King's Watch. I thought I'd show you guys. You guys kept on hounding me. Go check out the King's Watch. Go see what's in the King's Watch. Get inside the King's Watch. It's patched. Can you find a way in? Can you go see what's changed? Well, I did that for you guys. And that's all that changed. Nothing has changed except for Bungie added six to the level. They added six. Just went plus six. That's it. That's all that happened. And it's still an Ultra Captain. Still doesn't have a name. Still doesn't do anything. Still doesn't trigger anything. But you can still kill him, so there's that. But welcome to the changes. That is the King's Watch. Six. That's the change. There was the zero. Now there's a six. And you can still kill this guy. And technically you could go get the ghost in this area. Don't you ground smash me. I killed you. There's a ghost up there, there's a ghost back in that direction somewhere. You could do that, but that's literally it. That's the King's Watch, so stop hounding me about what's in the King's Watch. But that's how you get inside the King's Watch. After the patch, nothing's changed. It's kind of sad, but nothing has changed, just the level. It's now level 26. There you go, guys. Stop hounding me about it. And you guys are going to be like, well, what about the Trader's Catch? Do a video on that as well, but you're going to be sadly disappointed by it. But regardless, I'll do a video on it for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the changes to the King's Watch. Yeah, plus six. Anyways, guys, my name is Matt, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.